Hey team, what's going on? Go ahead, step on in, grab a knee. Today, we finish up this lovely lady. But this is no time to slacken up. No sir! This is when we dig deep. This is where we show them that they came to our house to take what we own. And are we gonna let that happen? No coach! We're gonna stop them dead! That's right! We're gonna stop the madness. Now here's the plan. We're gonna square away this canvas and do what needs doing. We're gonna finish what we started. This is crunch time. This is fourth quarter, baby. This is Studio 214, and that's the game plan. Put a hand in. Go on, get in there. On three, on three. One, two, three. Pay time! Yeah. I love you boys like you were my own sons. Now cue the music. I'm ready to paint. Are you ready? Grab a brush. Give me a hand! That street needs some fixing, and I got the medicine. Just small little things that don't make much difference by themselves, but uh, when taken as a whole, really changes the depth and feel of a composition. Okay, so, so let's talk about the bottom left again. I want something more. I kind of feel that this whole thing feels a little barren. In the reference photo, there are people, and well... I don't do humans. But I'm gonna real soon. In the interim, I have to be creative about what I put in man-made scenes so that they look adequately real and not some ghost town. To wit, I'm going to put a sign in the window. Yes, a small sign. Man, that ain't gonna do nothing. Dang. Not so, says I. It's gonna break up that space and add some interest. You see, the secret is to make things full without being busy. To add enough detail to make a scene lively, but details that won't detract from the central focal point. Details that add to the overall composition without taking it over. Unless you want all that attention there, then go for it. In my experience, points of central focal should be somewhere, well, right where I have it. At the nexus of the golden ratio. Right there, yeah. If you don't know what the golden ratio is, Stay tuned and make sure you hit that subscribe button because I promise I will make a video about the golden ratio very soon. Okay, good stuff. Let's go to work on dim flowers. I like petunias. How about you? Yeah? Who asked anyways? <laughs> this guy over here. Anyway, I'm putting in some petunias. What colors? Gee, Scoop. What's your story, huh? What's with all the questions? Are you an undercover narcotics agent? Jeez, glad I didn't make these poppies, you know what I'm saying? Haha, <laughs> over here! Oy vey! So I'm putting in some beautiful petunias. Mostly, because I like saying petunias. Come on, say it with me. Petunia. Petunia. That's right, now you got it. So. I'm noticing I don't have a point of central focal. It's all blue nothingness back there. No good. And at this point in the painting, I haven't even decided if I want to put anything there. I don't think I do, but something inside of me is telling me that I need to. Hmm. When I get stuck like this, I often take a step back and try to listen to my canvas. Try to hear what the canvas needs. What you need, girl, come talk to me. First off, brother, you got the wrong gender. Take that nonsense and return it to Cinder. Oh, dang. Sorry. I couldn't see. It's cool, Greg. Now listen to me. What you need is a big-ass tree. Not one, not two. Come on and give me three. Put them in the back, far out by the sea. Don't be scarred. Now, listen to me. The painting needs to be balanced. It needs to be free. You got to give it the opportunity to be who it gots to be. You think? I know. Well, okay. I guess I'm good to go. One more thing, Greg. If I can have your permission, let's take a look at the rest of this composition. Woo! 
Ooh, them buildings look good. And them lines are straight. It's full, but not busy. And them colors are great. Where are the people at, man? This is a city in Puerto Rico. You got to include people if you want your art to grow. <sighs> it's true. Aw, oh, man. I'm just saying what I think you already knew. You're right. Tis true, but it can really help being told what to do. Sometimes, and I don't want your pity, the paintings I paint turn out shitty. Shut your mouth, Peter, you crazy. All them greens making your mind hazy. Listen to me. Art is subjective. There ain't no rules. Forget the jibber jabber. Don't listen to fools. Listen to me. I care about you. I want to help you do this thing that you do. It is the thing that I've chosen to pursue. There you go, Greg. That's the spirit, bro. Seems you now learned what I need you to know. That being the case, I'm gonna bust up out of here, kid. Painting looks good. Keep doing what you did. Paint with your heart and treat the haters coldly. Now grab your brush and paint all the more boldly. I'm out. Thanks, Canvas Man. I will. I don't know about y'all, but I like that, dude. Ah, and what a fine reveal. I dig how that wall looks. It was hard to get the bricks right, but it was well worth it to get it right. In toy. You already did that bit in the last video. Damn it. Hmm, yeah, I did this one too. Uh oh, I'm reusing the material. <laughs> that either means I've lost my mind or I'm out of ideas. Or both. In any case, it's now obvious that this is all I got. What good timing. It just so happens that uh, I'm done with this painting. Now back to Coach Greg in the locker room. Okay, team. All right, team. Come on in. Take a knee. Well, good job out there. We swept the series. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you're new, then do the old coach a favor and hit that subscribe button. And check out the other videos in this series and on my channel. In the meantime, I'm going to hit the showers. For Studio 214, I'm Greg. Thanks for watching.